Hey, hi everyone welcome back to the channel in this particular video we are going to learn about that how we can run javascript code on windows 11 right so the first method is with the help of the visual studio code and the second is that we need a javascript runtime environment that is node.js in our system right so let's first understand that how we can install the node.js on our system and after that we will see that how we run our javascript code on our windows so let's first see the process well for that you need to come on your browser and need to search node.js after searching node.js you can see on the first site you just need to click here after clicking you can see here it has a, on the top there's a download right simply go on that after going here, you can see here is a button that is Windows installer and here is a pre-built Node.js. Basically, it is for the Windows and select your a particular architecture. I have 64 bits, so I have selected that. Right after that, just click on the Windows installer and the downloading of the Node.js has now started. You can see here, right? So it will take some time. Uh, the file is of 30 MB. Let's wait for that. Okay, so our Node.js is now installed. We just need to click on it. After clicking, you will get this kind of interface. Simply click on the next button and accept all the agreements. And again, next, uh, next, right? Next, again, next, and just click on this install. Now the installation process has now started. And yes, it is finished now. Now to check that whether the node.js installed properly or not, you just need to go to the terminal, just click on the windows button and search the terminal, right? Like this. And here you can search node-v and press enter. You can see I'm getting a version here, the version 22.17.1. Well, this shows that the node.js is successfully installed in my windows right now now if you go to the terminal and after going to the terminal now here if you write node and press enter let me just zoom it for you just write node and press enter you will come inside the node environment now if you want to run the javascript code let's say console dot log and inside of this if i write hello world like this right and if i press enter you see the hello world got printed and this console.log is our javascript code right and we have successfully printed or got the result in our node environment right so this is the first method to run the javascript code now let's come to the visual studio code and understand so i'll just open it so this is how your visual studio code looks right you can open the folder also let's create a folder here so i'll do what i'll just create a new folder like this and i'll say that js code right js code folder now come inside of the folder and here what you need to do is that either after clicking on show more option you will get this open with code either you click on it then su successfully you will come inside the same folder into the visual studio code or you can do the other method that is you can open in terminal after open clicking on open in terminal you just need to write code and then give a space and then again a dot and press enter when you press enter you will get in enter inside the visual studio code with the same folder you can see right this is the same folder so this is how we open the folder in our Visual Studio code. And now after doing this, uh, let me let me tell you that how you can run your code. So first of all is that let's create a file name is Plus 
want to run this right so for running this what you can do is that you can write node here and after that write the name of the file which is script so i'll write a script here and now after writing the script what you need to do is that you need to click the tab tab button right when you click on the tab button you will get the complete address of this particular file is script.js you can see dot slash right this is showing the address now now when you press enter you can get the result here got it you got the result hello world that means this particular code that you have written inside the script.js file has successfully run that means your javascript code got run right now there are few more extensions available now let's understand about those so when you go on the extension and you search for code runner right code runner so then you will get the package this as you can see here let me just remove it you can see the code runner you just need to install it i have already installed it uh, so i'll just come back to my script.js file and here what i need to do is that i will run just you can simply get this particular run code button right so when you click on this button automatically you can see your hello world got printed means your code javascript code has now successfully run right and you got out the result here so this is how we actually run our javascript code later when we will understand and we will uh, code a long javascript and everything in detail about it then you will be more confident about writing the better javascript code this is just a basic code about printing the hello world right and uh, this is how we do it this is all the method that by which we run our javascript on our windows right and i told you everything this is all about today's video thank you so much for watching Goodbye.